Now, what I want to look at, first of all, is the media. When people say the media is the problem, they're, they're right about most things. If you look, re, re, all of the research that we have indicates that media violence has increased in quantity, but it's also more graphic, more sexual, and more sadistic. This is the khutawat of shaitan. If you watch films from the 1940s, the 1930s, the 1950s, see, you can see it's slow. This is how shaitan gets people. He pulls them step by step. These are his khutawat. You start watching films, they introduce violence. In my country, one of the landmark films was a film called Bonnie and Clyde with... Uh, uh, What's his name? See, people know Warren Beatty. Yeah. There, there's a hadith that in the end of time, the shayateen will, will take forms and they'll, they'll, they'll tell you fictional stories and you'll say, I, I can see his face, but I don't know his name. It's in Sahih al-Bukhari. And there's a website of actors. The website is called, you know their faces, but can't remember their names. That's a hadith. It's amazing. Sadaqa Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa so that film was a major change in America in, in cinematography because before that, graphic violence was not permitted. But this film showed blood, gore. Now that film looks tame compared to what they have out. These are the khutawat of shaitan. And shaitan wants violence and sex are his two, these are, because they're very powerful for the human psyche. And these are the two ways that he can really corrupt the heart. I'm, this is from the United States, so I'm using statistics from the U.S., but, but it's all coming to you, unfortunately. So 80% of R-rated movies, right? 70% of restricted video games and 100% of music with explicit content, warning labels, were being marketed to children under 17. So they know what they're doing. These are the minions of shaitan. Whether they're conscious of it or not. They're unconscious. If you say, We believe in freedom of speech. We believe in artistic expression. We're not sowing corruption. No, they're the corruptors. But they're unaware. So many of them are literally minions. By the time the average child in the United States is 18 years old, they will have seen 200,000 acts of violence and 16,000 murders. What do you think this is doing to the psyche? Why do you think America is such a violent country? Seriously, there are other reasons. This is one of the reasons. We have a history of violence in the United States. But our children have been programmed to be violent. Media violence is especially damaging to young children under eight because they cannot easily tell the difference between real life and fantasy. The American Pediatric Association warns that children should not see any television now. Th this is a uh, protocol from a few years back. They shouldn't see any television before the age of three because of the effects they know that it has. That was actually a compromise because the evidence shows that they really shouldn't be seeing any in television while their brains are developing. But these are compromises because the television industry is so powerful. And if you don't think industry has an effect on, on, on medicine, just look at the food pyramid. Because the food pyramid in the United States was changed because of the dairy and meat lobbies. Because they warned people about dairy and meat. So they got it changed. So, Industry, medicine is in service of industry. It's not medicine in service of humanity. It serves industry. They know Scientific America proved that television is a low-grade addiction. People become addicted to television. It's like tea, you know. I mean, I always say, what's the problem with tea? I, I don't feel addicted. I've given it up so many times, right? So those low-grade addictions are real. Tea is a low-grade addiction, but as an inveterate tea drinker, I can tell you it is very hard to give up tea. I was corrupted by the English because I lived in England, and every day they would have tea. I started having tea. Before I knew it, I go back to America where they don't drink tea. They drink coffee, but I wanted tea, right? I'm, I have Irish roots. The English, you know about the English. Malaysia knows. 
You know, they say monkeys know how to speak the orangutan. They say that they can speak. Like the orangutan, they speak Malay in the jungle. But they knew that if they spoke, the English would put them to work. <laughs> so they just pretend not to. 